When Ty Gibbs makes his 2023 debut in the NASCAR Cup Series, the energy drink company Monster Energy will be his primary sponsor. Even though Ty Gibbs' full-time driver for Joe Gibbs Racing in the NASCAR Cup Series has been expected for some time, the company didn't make the announcement public until the offseason. After 15 years with the organization, Kyle Busch decided to leave and drive for Richard Childress Racing in the Chevrolet Series. Gibbs is going to take over for him. As you're like, it's going to take over our our channel. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. After 15 years in Bush's number 18 Toyota, Gibbs is switching to the number 54 Toyota. The 20-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina's sponsorship status remained unknown. Because Bush quit due to a lack of sponsorship, nobody knows how this is going to play out. However, this was also thought to be a poorly guarded secret. The reigning Xfinity Series champion was pleased to represent his long-standing principal sponsor, Monster Energy, at NASCAR Champions Week in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. According to a rumor by Adam Stern, of the Sports Business Journal, Monster Energy will be sponsoring Give in a substantial capacity for the 2023 season, but the specifics of the arrangement have not yet been made public. In 2022, Gibbs' lone full season in the Xfinity Series, he won seven races and the series title. Surprisingly, he also got to compete in 15 Cup Series events. After injuring his head in a qualifying incident at Pocono Raceway in July, 23XI Racing's Kurt Busch was sidelined for the remaining 16 races of the season. Joe Gibbs Racing and 23XI Racing worked together technologically. After 15 laps, 23XI Racing requested a replacement from Gibbs. Sadly, Gibbs' father, Coy, passed away the night before the season finale at Phoenix Raceway. The same night, Gibbs took home the Xfinity Series title. Daniel Hemrick piloted the number 23 Toyota in the event. In 15 Cup Series races, Gibbs replaced Bush, whose sponsorship came from Monster Energy. The best place he finished was 10th and his average was 29th. The company's commitment to sponsoring Gibbs after he competes full-time in the Cup Series has not been officially confirmed. There are, however, numerous indications that they will. During NASCAR Champions Week in downtown Nashville, Tennessee, Gibbs was reportedly happy to promote Monster Energy, as reported by Fox Sports' Bob Pockrass. In addition, Gibbs is still employed by the same production business, but in a different role. He didn't have to adapt to working with a whole new team since he switched. According to reports, Bush's departure from Joe Gibbs Racing was due to a lack of financial backing. A once promising sponsorship contract with M&M's has ended. Ty may be Joe's grandson, but he still needs sponsorship money badly. Since he joined Richard Childress Racing, Bush claims it was obvious that Joe Gibbs Racing had already moved on to signing another driver with a new set of sponsors. Now we know for sure that he was referring to Gibbs, and Monster Energy certainly had a hand in it. The bigger issue is whether the energy drink will have any other ties to the 2023 Cup Series outside of its partnership with Gibbs. Prior to his brain injury, Kurt Busch was scheduled to return to 23XI Racing in 2023, where Monster Monster Energy was the team's primary sponsor in 2022. Due to the pain from the injuries, he eventually had to give up competing. In 2023, Tyler Reddick will replace Kurt Busch in the number 45 Toyota for Richard Childress Racing. This is a year sooner than originally anticipated. Bubba Wallace will be joining him in the number 23 Toyota. In 2023, will Monster Energy continue to work with 23XI Racing or return to Gibbs? Before Bush joined 23XI Racing, they had already been working together for quite some time. This further clouds their uncertain future with the Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan-owned organization. Five drivers in 2022 equaled the record for the most first-time winners in NASCAR's top series. On the other hand, if it occurs again in 2023, it may cause considerably more of a stir. Several new champions emerged in the 2022 World Series due to various factors. NASCAR's new next-gen vehicle type leveled the playing field between smaller and bigger teams. Teams may no longer rely on producing their own components, but instead must get them from a centralized vendor. Also, each team had to start the season with a clean slate in order to figure out how to get the most out of the new vehicle. As a result, there were 36 events and a record time 19 different champions across the board. Drivers with smaller teams had a considerably better chance of placing in the top 10, much less winning, 
As a result, first race of the season, and Austin Sidrick wins the Daytona 500. Three weeks later, Chase Briscoe took the first at Phoenix Raceway. The second-year racer had never previously won a race in the Cup Series before this. Two weeks after Briscoe, Ross Chastain added his name to the list of Cup Series champions. He passed AJ Almadinger and Alex Bowman on the last lap at the Circuit of the Americas to take first place. In a dirt race three weeks later at Bristol Motor Speedway, Tyler Reddick came close to joining the club of first time winners. When Briscoe collided with him on the final turn, it gave Kyle Busch an opportunity to overtake and ultimately win his 60th career race. It wasn't until July at Road America that Reddick finally took home a World Series victory. While Reddick may have won the Cup Series race at Sonoma Raceway two weeks earlier, Daniel Suarez had already taken the checkered flag. In the second part of the race, he overtook the lead and became the first driver from track house racing to win a race. The percentage of people who do not have a Cup Series victory has dropped dramatically. Without them, the list of drivers who are slated to run the whole 2023 Cup Series season and still have a chance to win their maiden race is short. The most experienced driver on the list is also the least experienced. In 2022, Ty Gibbs, racing in his grandfather's vehicle for Joe Gibbs Racing, took home the Xfinity Series title. He won 11 races in just a year and a half. Between 2019 and 2021, he competed in 47 events in the Arca Mernard Series, winning 18 of them. Them. In 2016, Gibbs competed in 15 Cup Series events. After Kurt Busch was injured in a qualifying incident at Pocono Raceway in July and was unable to drive, he stepped in to drive for 23XI Racing. Gibbs again placed 10th in his third race at Michigan International Speedway. His season finished with eight consecutive results of 19th or worse, and he was never a factor in any of the other races he competed in. Gibbs could see improved results in his first full season in the Cup Series. Since Kyle Busch has gone to Richard Childress Racing this offseason, he will be driving for the number 18 squad at JGR. Among Cup Series drivers in 2023, Gibbs may be the only one with a better than average probability of winning his maiden race. Since the start of last season, the number of drivers who have never won a race has dropped significantly, and he will be driving for one of the top teams in the sport. Having won the NASCAR Cup Series twice with Toyota, two Time champion Kyle Busch revealed in September that he would be moving to Chevrolet with Richard Childress Racing. It's possible this free agency move may go down as the biggest in NASCAR Cup Series history. After the 2021 season, M&M's, the principal sponsor of Kurt Busch's number 18 Joe Gibbs Racing team, stated that they would not be renewing their contract after the 2022 season. New terms for Busch's contract were still anticipated, and the driver had previously said that he didn't foresee himself racing anywhere else. However, it was clear that things would evolve over time. Joe Gibbs Racing and Bush's sponsorship deal, which had seemed strong at first, soon fell apart, and it appeared like both sides would be going their separate ways. Ty Gibbs, the grandson of team owner Joe Gibbs and winner of the most recent Xfinity Series event, will take up driving duties for Bush beginning with the next race. In 2023, for the first time since joining the Cup Series in 1992, Joe Gibbs Racing will not run the number 18 Toyota. Monster Energy will follow Gibbs to the Cup Series as a sponsor. If Monster Energy delivers as promised, the number 54 team won't need any further sponsorship. Would Joe Gibbs Racing really trade a two-time champion for a 20-year-old because two of its three drivers are 42 years old and perhaps toward the end of their careers? In 2023, Ty Gibbs will make his NASCAR Cup Series debut with Joe Gibbs Racing. Will he be bringing Monster Energy his primary sponsor? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.